Welcome back everybody. I have a quick and easy one for you today. I'm going to show you how I made this beautiful watercolor effect in Affinity Photo 2. I started with three pictures I got from pixabay.com. This amazing photo of a beautiful woman and these two watercolor splatters that I downloaded from pixabay.com. I'll start with the woman in the headdress. It's a little bit dark for what I'm going to do, so I'm going to go to the adjustment button at the bottom of the layers panel and select black and white. I'll play with the different color sliders a bit until I get the effect I want. Basically, I'm just trying to lighten it up so that I can see the textures around her face. There, that looks pretty good. Now, I'll drag my adjustment layer onto the layer with the woman on it. Then, I'll go back down to the Adjustments button and select Posterize. I'll leave the level at 4. I'll drag the Posterize adjustment onto the Woman layer. Next, I'll go back down to the Adjustments button for the last time and select Threshold. And I'll move the slider a bit to the left until I get a nicely defined pure black and white image with no greys. Okay, now I'm going to rasterize this layer to make it a single pixel layer. Then I'll turn this messy watercolor picture back on, go to the blending modes drop down and scroll down to one of these in the second section that will replace the blacks with the watercolor. The add blending mode looks good. Next, I'll turn on the other watercolor splatter. I want to add some more color onto my image. So, I'll go back to the blending modes and try the ones in the top section. I'm going to go with Darken here, as it looks best to me. There's a little too much splatter over her eyes. I really want those to stand out in my image, but that's an easy fix. With the top layer selected, I'll click the mask button at the bottom of the layers panel. Then, I'll make sure the color is set to black. I'll select my brush tool from the left-hand toolbar and I'll get a nice soft basic brush. In a mask, black will erase unwanted pixels from the top layer while letting the bottom layers show through. I'll just paint around the eyes and face a bit. I'll speed this up a bit so as not to bore you. Just paint on the mask where you want to remove any color. There's no right or wrong here, just go with what looks nice to you. There, that looks much better. Last thing I'm going to do here is to make the watercolor image look as if it's on canvas. This is pretty easy to do with blend modes too. I'll go to the place tool on my left hand toolbar. If you don't have that, you can select file from the menu and then place. Then I'll open up a nice canvas texture that I got from texturelabs.com. I'll make the image bigger by dragging the corner nodes. Then with the canvas layer selected, I'll go to the Blend Modes at the top of the Layers panel and see which looks best. I think I'll go with Multiply for this one. Last thing here, the image got a little dark after applying the Blend Mode. So I'll just go back to the Adjustment button and select Brightness and Contrast. I'll use the Brightness slider to brighten it back up. All right, that's about it for today. If you learned something and want to see more of this kind of content, please click those like and subscribe buttons. And if you're feeling generous, this channel runs on caffeine. There's a link to buy me a cup of coffee in the descriptions. Not necessary, but certainly appreciated. Have a great day, everyone.